Hello. Have you ever been feeling like you're trying to teach kids or maybe even yourself some strategies and it just doesn't seem to be sticking? And so you feel like you're constantly looking for something new and it just feels frustrating. Or maybe you want to help since we're talking about ADHD with focus and attention, but you're not really sure what to do for focus and attention beyond um, say, hey, let's improve our focus. And you don't know where to start. Or maybe you have gotten an insight into the inner life of somebody. Maybe it's yourself or maybe it's a child that you're working with. And in those rare moments when they can say, you know, I really am trying so hard. And you can see that there is just pain and hurt because it doesn't, they feel either shame or not um, good enough in some way. So those are struggles that I know that I have had and I know that Kathy has had. And so I'm Veronica, the hostess of ADHD What Now, where our mission is to help you understand unique brains and choose some next steps to support them. And Kathy is the founder of Move Mindfully, which is an amazing resource for people. And I'm so glad that she's a part of this event coming up and she'll be coming in on February 21st. I just wanted to invite her to share in just a brief moment, the background of how she helped to solve some of those challenges that we just talked about and um, what you'll find on February 21st. I'll turn it over to Kathy. Thanks so much for being here. Thanks, Veronica, and thanks for doing the work you do. It's so important. I'm glad to be with you all that are joining now or listening later. Um, my name is Kathy Flaminio, and I'm the CEO and founder of Move Mindfully. And we are a training and consulting company that brings the science of mindfulness, movement, and social emotional learning into these simple, simple practices that can be used in schools and hospitals. And you know, Veronica, I always think like we teach what we need to know. So I struggled my whole life with attention. Um, I was told this, it's still a lot. And I was always curious when I was working actually as a social worker, I worked in Minneapolis public schools for 20 years. And about 10 years into my career, I was like, okay, wait a second here. And what I realized is that I was working as a social worker and working with the teachers, what we call chin up. When we know that attention and focus and everything is like a mind body strategy. So literally I started one day like integrating some of these like movement practices and breathing practices. And we started to see great changes, especially with the youth, but also with the adults. And so I took a year off. I took a sabbatical with an OT in our school district and we researched what was going on around the country with mindfulness movement and really mental health and social emotional learning. And that's why I started to develop um, and collaborate with different um, people to develop what is now move mindfully. And so what I'd love to show you today is sometimes I think the reason things don't stick is that we're just doing it from the chin up. We're like going through all these different strategies, but we're not understanding like what's happening in our body. And part of that is, is just getting into the moment. So I always tell people just press down to your feet. I mean, just squeeze your toes right now. Just squeeze your toes. No one needs to know and just allow your toes to release. And that can be a great focusing thing, right? So in my presentation on the 23rd, we're going to talk about all these strategies that are helpful, not only for youth, but are helpful for parents and educators and therapists. And I would love to show you. So we have these cards that are just really simple. And these are two that I have been using lately because I think they're really helpful, <laughs> but they also help us bring attention. So I'm just going to have you right now, if you're watching, just play, give yourself a break in the day right now and place your hands on top of the head. And this clicks on a relaxation response. And then we just take a few breaths. Feels good. And then maybe, yeah. And maybe I like this one really right now, everybody just try this one. This one is like, I'm holding my frontal cortex in the back of my brain. And we take a few breaths. And then shake it out. And then I can add language. Like I take a break or I am focused. So we're we're doing like breathing, movement and rest practices that are really helpful and creating what we call a relaxed alert state. And so that's where my body is relaxed and my brain's alert and understanding that when my body feels distracted that I do all sorts of things like movement or I might do tapping, those things help us regulate. So we're gonna kind of look at why those things are actually really helpful and not to be shameful about it. There are things that we can do throughout the day that can mm -hmm. help us stay focused. And that can really empower us to be like, we are our own teachers, right? Absolutely. Yeah. 
So come and learn more on February 21st with Kathy of Move Mindfully. On that day, we'll also have Leah Kuypers from the Zones of Regulation. So it is going to be an awesome day to come and get real concrete strategies and tools on February 21st. So to everybody pop in in the comments down below to help remember that date. I know that would help me lock in the memory of that time if I'm interested in coming that particular day and um, then go put it in your calendar. So we look forward yeah. to seeing you there and great to yeah. see you, Kathy. Pleasure to have you here. And I'm looking forward to hearing so much more that you have to share about this. All right. Thanks everybody. See y'all there. Bye.